Live from their studio in a hole in the wall, it's Rat Chat, brought to you by Cheese. And now, here they are, your hosts, those literary loving, reading, ranting, and reviewing rodents of almost renowned Stanley and Morris. Thank you, thank you. Love that alliteration. Yeah, we're alliterati. Welcome to Rat Chat. I am Stanley, he is Morris, Hi. and we are rats who talk books. Chatting. Lots of chatting. We love books. <laughs> so, uh, Stan, what book are we chatting about today? Morris, my friend, up for chat and your personal perusal. Mm, love your word choice. A good vocabulary is essential. And speaking of good vocabulary, this is a book brimming with sophisticated word choices which contribute to the deliciously satiric humor. You intriguing rat wordsmith, you. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, we all know our mother goose rhymes. Well, of course, a must for everyone of all ages to know and experience. Yeah, well, these rhymes are from her sister. Her sister? Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Um, mm -hmm. A classic. Love that Bing and Danny K. <laughs> eh, sisters, yeah. Eh, that, wait, 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 wait. Spinster goose. Yeah. These are not your mother's nursery rhymes. No, not at all, my friend. These wicked little gems are twisted rhymes for naughty children. Hey, something tells me we are in for a special treat. Hey, right you are, Morris. Let us take a look inside, shall we? Absolutely. Okay, let's roll it. Spinster Goose by Lisa Wheeler, illustrated by Sophie Blackall. Hmm. Hey, Stan, you know something? That spinster goose kind of reminds me a little bit of Aunt Tilly. Yeah, <laughs> she does. Hey, those two would be a pair of working together, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mrs. Wheeler starts off by way of an introduction by Mother Goose herself. Ah. There are many naughty children far beyond my expertise. I tried my best to help them, but the problems would not cease. So, I sent them to my sister. Her school is well designed to deal with uncouth urchins who have manners unrefined. Take a tour and please be sure to follow every rule. Remember, disobedience will land you in her school. You are one amazing actor, my rat friend. Oh. The Great White Way is where you should be, and I'm not talking the corner of 46th and 8th. The stage, my rat, hitting those boards, oh, as they say. come on. No, no, I'm not kidding. A mantle of ponies you should have. Yeah, well, yeah, I did share a dressing room one season with Nathan Lane. Oh, yeah, that's right, you did. Was that at the Winter Garden? Winter Garden, Morris, please. That's where cats ran like a, yeah, forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. We didn't go backstage there for years. Oh, hey, look. So this is where Spinster Goose lives, huh? A little uh, Edward Gorey-ish, if you will. This is where the pinchers get pinched, and the pokers get poked, the biters get bit, and the smokers get smoked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a stone one, all right. Oh, yeah. So what rhymes are we going to be featuring here today? Well, as you can see, the choices are many, oh, but yeah. I will share a few of my personal favorites. Let us begin with the gum chewer. Chew, chaw, Marjorie Dool. This girl is a gum-chewing master. It makes her quite mad and a little bit sad that she cannot chew any faster. <laughs> Look at her now, resembling a cow, chomping with teeth all corroded. Whenever she blows, her bubblegum grows. Oh. Oops, too bad it exploded. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what happens when you chew gum in school. Hey, what do you expect? Hey, what else you got? The cooks. Jack Spratt stares in the fat. His wife dumps in the beans. It's boiled hard and fat salad and served in soup terrains. 
Bean after bean, the kids turn green. They sweat and shake and drool. The stomachs turn, the kiddies learn the motto. Life is gruel. <laughs> Life is gruel. <laughs> this author is a pip. Oh, come on, read me another. Mm, okay, here's a good one. The fibber. Mary had a little lamb. She said it was a horse, but anyone with eyes could see he was a lamb, of course. Why, Why does Mary fib so much? The other children cry. She says she cannot help herself. <laughs> of course, that's just a lie. You are amazing. Oh, you do so many voices. Hey, come on. One more, one more. Hey, tick-tock, hickory-tock. Hey, time's running out. You gotta read the book. Oh, you rat you. You're teasing me. <laughs> I don't know if I can wait. So, Morris, what's on the old cheese meter for spinster goose? Stanley, for this morsel of elegantly written rhymes and wickedly humorous illustrated vignettes, what else can I possibly award these two talented urchins known as Wheeler and Blackall, but the sophisticated fair of stinking bishop, mm. aromatic collagio, mm, and of course, your ubiquitous limbagat. Ooh, ubiquitous. Ooh, you are getting to be a wordsmith yourself, my friend. Hey, this book puts me in the mood. Yeah, well, there you have it. The rat knows his cheese, his books, and his words. We can't say goodbye better than Miss Wheeler's adieu. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Your scheduled tour is over, it's time to say goodbye. But you'd better watch your manners, watch out for spinster too. She'll box and wrap each little brat and send them home to you. And we'll see all of you, naughty little urchins, next time on Ratchet! Squeak.